Welcome everyone to another video today. My name is Nicholas or Nick Greer. It doesn't even matter to me. So let's jump right into the video. Lady Black Hawk made her first appearance in Black Hawk issue 133 in February of 1959. She was created by Dick Dillon. Zinda Blake always wanted to join the Black Hawk Squadron, which is a team of male pilots that fight against pirates, terrorists, and rogue scientists to protect the world, sea lanes, and, air, and airways. Training herself to become an expert pilot with the inclusion of combat in, in her weaponry, she tries to join the team after rescuing a Black Hawk member named Olaf. However, she was forbidden to join because she was a woman. When the entire Black Hawks was captured by Scavenger, the Black Hawks contacted Zenda, who was already arriving to rescue them. Defeating Scavenger, she was allowed to join the Black Hawks. She would once again rescue the entire team when they were kidnapped by the ruler of an island called Zenovia. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the name correctly, named Penelope, which was a mistake on her end. Later, she tried to get a shot at acting but was unsuccessful. After having numerous adventures with the Blackhawks, Blake was kidnapped by a Nazi operative named Killer Shark, who used a chemical potion to brainwash her. This led to her becoming Queen Killer Shark which didn't last long after the effects of the potion wore off. When the Zero Hour event occurred, Blake was sent into the present timeline. Not this timeline, by the way. This is where she became allies with the Zero Hour version of Batgirl, which didn't last long due to the event. She's later seen working at a bar owned by Guy Gardner. Speaking of Guy Gardner, she worked with him in his group to fight off supervillains. His group consists of Arisha Rab, Buck Wargo, a millionaire adventurer, and Tiger Man, half man, half tiger. Zinda Blake is next seen as a member in the pilot of Birds of Prey. She would quit the team when the team's leader was replaced by Spy Smasher, a United States government agent. Luckily, this didn't last long as she would return to the team in, in issue 108 of Birds of Prey. Killer Shark would return later on where he begins to stalk Blake and would then leave a map for her to follow him. Finding out that this Killer Shark is the grandson of the original Killer Shark who brainwashed her before, he brainwashes Zenda into finding the secret treasure from his grandfather however this was cut short thanks to helena bertinelli aka huntress who knocks him out after the effects of the brainwashing wore off when birds of prey decided to disband zenda along with other heroes grouped up into protecting gotham after the death of batman now let's move on to her powers and abilities with no superhuman abilities She's an expert on aircraft technology, marksman or marked woman, skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and she can also swim.